Hi guys. So, do you remember when I told you it's nearly impossible for me to record at home? I have tried to film me creating a Google slide for you for like the last hour. I am seven minutes and 25 seconds into this video. I have stopped it and restarted it six different times and I keep getting interrupted. It is so hard to do this at home. I'm gonna try one more time and then I'm gonna go to bed because I'm tired. Maybe I'll try this tomorrow, but I hope it works out. Hi guys, so I was creating some slides um, for next week and I thought I would record and show you what I was doing. So I'm just gonna get started. Here I am in my Google. I'm just gonna come up here to the little waffle and I'm gonna click on my drive. You can also type slides.new in the box. You can move me down. I'm gonna click on new. And we go down to Google Slides. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do, I wanna type on that title box and give this a title. And this is gonna be my morning meeting slide. I guess it would help with this for morning. Y'all, I have tried this video so many times and something keeps happening with it. So let's pray for this to be the last one because it is 10 o'clock. I'm tired. So just X out of the themes and I'm just gonna get rid of these boxes. Now I have a nice starting point. I am going to click on background. So that's the first thing I wanna do. I wanna add some color to it. Now you can click on the color and you can put a color in your background. Um, you can click on custom and you can move this, the hue bar around and pick from all different colors. Um, but I want an image. So I'm going to go to image, Google image search. And of course I want ocean. I don't want anything too busy because I don't want my students to um, be staring at that too much. I want just kind of a simple color. So I'm gonna click on that one and I'm gonna insert it. And there it is. Now, whenever you click on it, it's not going anywhere. It's a sticker, so it's there. So now the first thing for my morning meeting is when I was thinking about creating um, Google Slides, I was thinking, what would I put on chart paper for my students? What would be um, on their screen if we were in class? Would I have some kind of PowerPoint that we would play? Um, usually we do like a story and I might have a PowerPoint that goes with a story that has like vocabulary in it. Um, things to know if we're doing some kind of phonics pattern and then I might have a link in, um, in that PowerPoint to a video or something along that lines. So I just try to go from that and I'm just starting with the very start of the day because on the first day of school, I want us to come together as a class and have our morning meeting like we would do in real, like if we were face to face and COVID was not around. So on the top, I'm gonna put my date, but I want my date to stand out. So I'm gonna put a shape in first. So I'm just gonna drag that box across the top. And then I'm, I want that box um, white. So I'm gonna come up here to the paint and I'm just going to click on white so it's a nice bright white, and now I can put text in it. So I'm gonna click the little text box icon. And just drag that across, and I'm just going to simply write what I would normally write. Today is August 10th, 2020, but I don't like that font. So I'm gonna highlight it. You can come up here to your font box and click through all of these different kinds of fonts, but I want something that's a little bit bigger and blockier for first grade. So I'm going to go to add-ons and I'm going to click on extensive fonts. If you don't have that, you, you go to get add-ons and type that in and you can just click it into your Google. And um, those add-ons are great. There's so many choices. So I'm gonna click extensive fonts and I'm gonna press start. And it's just gonna break, no, why is it refusing to connect? Let's try that again. 
I did it just a minute ago. Let's try that again. Oh, okay, so it's not going to work and I don't know why. It was just working just a minute ago. So I'm not gonna worry about it because I've done this video, like I said, 1700 times. That's an option. We'll just go ahead and move forward. Let's click on more fonts and see what our choices are. Let's do um, display fonts. Okay, so it gives us some choices here. Kind of like this one. I can see where some of those letters might not be. Let's see what that looks like. Well, that's not bad. So let's click on that. I'm going to make it centered and I wanna make it kind of even in the box. And now I'm going to adjust the font size. I'm gonna start with 60 and see what that takes us. Okay, so let's fix this a little bit. I feel like I can get that in at 60. Here we go. Okay, I wanted it nice and big for my students. So now we're just going to move that in. There we go. That looks good. So that's there. So now anytime I want to do this, I can just duplicate the slide or I can just go in and edit the slide. I don't have to duplicate it. But there it is. So now I want a text box here because I want to just do my, my normal morning message. Usually I have like a morning message, question of the day, and then the students would come up and answer the question. They would drag their little number on our board to answer the question. I could show you that um, another time, but let's just for the point of setting up our first slide together, I'm gonna to go back into shapes and I'm gonna put another shape in so that my text box stands out, but I don't want it to cover up my background on this one. So I'm gonna click on the paint, the fill color, and I'm gonna come down here to custom like I showed you just a minute ago. I do want it to be in the blue family. So I'm gonna click on the, I'm just gonna get right there in between all the blues and you can move this around any color I'm just going to kind of come to one of the lighter colors, like maybe like that. But I, here's the kicker. I want it to be transparent. So I'm going to bring the transparency down quite a bit. And there it is. So now it kind of looks cloudy. You can kind of see the background a little bit, but it still stands out. So now when I put text in there, you still see the background, but the text will still stand out. So I'm going to change the text right away to Comic Sans. I know that's kind of kindergarten -y. It's It's kind of a more of a primary um, font. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go ahead and start the font size. Let's do 24. So I'm just going to say good morning. Welcome to first grade. Uh, nope, let's do I am so glad to see you. Did you have a good summer? Keeping it simple, it's the first day of school. They're not ready to do anything. Usually when I do these little um, messages like this, I'll have misspelled words or we'll work on skills and it's just a real quick thing. But for the purposes of the first day of school, I just want it to be a simple message. I may ask them if somebody can um, spell one of the sight words in it, something like that. But it's the first day of school, so we're just going to be working on rules and procedures for online digital learning. Um, just like we would do rules and procedures in the classroom. I'm not going to worry about rules and procedures of what our classroom is going to be until the first day of actual school. When they come back to the building, then we'll have to go back and I'll have to show them around the room and we'll have to go through all the rules and procedures of the classroom space. But the rules and procedures of digital learning are way different. So for the purposes of starting to train them, this is what I'm going to leave it with. Now I could put a picture over here of my family members, um, I could tell them a little bit about myself. And then I'm thinking I might introduce them to what a breakout room is. So 
I might say, okay, now guys, I've shared a little bit about me. I want you to share with your classmates a little bit about you. So I'm gonna put you in a breakout room and you're gonna share for two minutes with your classmate. I want you to tell them what your name is and something about yourself, like your favorite color, if you have a pet, and just talk to your classmate. Most of these kids know each other because um, I have kids that were kind of chunked together in some of the same classes. Um, so I might put those students back together in a breakout room just so they can kind of visit. But this way they're getting to kind of talk to their friends, start getting excited about school because digital learning is so different anyway. I want them to kind of get excited again. So I would probably put um, a picture of maybe my family here, something along those lines. Um, and then I can just tell them a little bit about myself. I might put a picture of my dog that sort of thing, just to get their little brains working. And then that's it on the morning meeting. So that's my morning meeting slide. Sometimes with morning meetings, I would have this kind of thing displayed on the board. And then I would have um, like what they're gonna do when they come into class. So if, if we were um, actually back in the building and I was doing my morning meetings like this, I would have what we were doing for morning work that day or what I needed, what were my expectations for them? Do they need to come in, sit down, take a journal out, come in, sit down, get a STEM box, that sort of thing, or which STEM box should they get? Do they need to pull out their iPad and work on something on their um, iPad for me? So I would have, it's always an option to have in this empty space on these slides is to have maybe a picture of a new vocabulary word, you could put um, what you wanted them to do that day. It's kind of really up to you. I try to keep the message pretty simple. Um, I don't want to overwhelm them, especially at first. So I just kind of stick it, stick with something, you know, easy for them. Most of these words they would be, they would know, or they would be able to figure out. And even if they didn't, it wouldn't be so scary because it's, you know, quite simple text. So I think that that's kind of a good start um, to get me started for my slides. So I started my to-do list. Let me stop sharing. I know I'm using my, my webcam for this, but I started my to-do list on my slides and I was looking at my class schedule and I'll go over what I'm thinking tomorrow, but I just highlighted on my class schedule where I wanted to have slides, where I wanted to make sure I created slides. So I got my morning meeting slide. I actually have a digital calendar that I use. It's on my computer at school. So I'll have to pull that up at school. Um, yeah, I think it's on my computer at school. I'll pull that up and I can show you that tomorrow. Um, and then I'm gonna work on tomorrow creating slides. Now our district does put out curriculum for us, but I kind of hit and miss with that. So I don't like to always use their slides because I don't want my students to get used to their format of slides. And then if I don't use them one day, then it, I don't want it to throw them off. I want them, want them to be um, kind of mixed from time to time. So I'm going to work on my reading slides. Um, and then they're gonna have lots of breaks next week because they're not gonna be used to sitting in front of a camera. So my plan is do a morning meeting, do our calendar so that we can talk about rules of calendar, our calendar songs, and then we're gonna do a story and an activity with our story. And then they're gonna have a break and then we're gonna come back and then at a certain time and then we're gonna do um, you know, something else, maybe a read aloud for the first week. I'm not going to start phonics until we get either face to face or know if we're staying this way. I usually don't start phonics until I've tested them. Um, so I may have to figure out some kind of way to see where they're at. I give them a DSA test and I can do that one on one next week. I can give them a DSA test one on one. Um, so we'll just kind of see what that. And then we're, what they have, they still have special area classes. So they'll have to have that break in there for their special classes. Then we're gonna come back and we are gonna do some writing together. We're gonna to do our writing just like it was the first day of school. They're gonna do some writing. Um, and then they're gonna have their lunch break and some free time and we'll come back in the afternoon and we'll have math and math slides. And again, 
all of our slides coming up next week. It's all about the procedures of online learning and they'll, I'll be teaching them math skills, but our focus will be like procedures and standards of online learning with using math to do it. Um, and then we'll have like a science lesson and then it'll be time to go home. So I think that's the way I can lay out my day. So when I'm looking at my planner next week, instead of me planning, let me show you my, and I don't know if it'll flip it on the camera, but we shall see, won't we? Instead of me planning my day, and this is, I don't know if you can see that very well. You see how I have my stickers in here, reading, phonics, writing, math, science, social studies, health. I'm going to take those stickers out and I'm gonna put time slots. Or I could just put time slots above um, because I, we're not obviously going to get to all of these skills. So I just need to know time slots that I'm going to have the students in front of me. And then uh, like time slots where I need to plug in to do um, some one on one with them so that I can get some testing done. So those were my thoughts today. I had a lot of training today. Um, tomorrow we go back. We have training in the morning. I'm going to try to video and talk to you guys in the morning before my, my meetings start and then I'll be in my room all day um, doing training. So those are my thoughts, those are my plans. It is 9.41, so I am going to go ahead and sign off. I hope that that Google slide was um, sort of helpful for somebody. It kind of helped me because I played around with it a lot and I was able to see what I wanted, what would work for myself, so. Um, I hope that helped. I do a lot of technology in my room, so I can do more of these little technology videos, but I did want to go ahead and show you while I was planning, because that's all part of classroom setup, is planning for the first day of school. So um, if that helps, or if you still need, you know, more guidance, if you still have more questions, you can always leave me a comment, but I'm going to sign off for tonight, and I will see you guys tomorrow.